Well, I'm nothing without uh, being thorough, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put one of these points to ground. So we're just basically making a ground connection, which is everything. And then I can test each one of these things to just make sure that the pickups are working. And all I have to do is just check the terminal. You can see that this humbucker is at about 8.8. .8. The middle pickup is about 6.2. Yeah, about that. And the next pickup, about 8.6. So each pickup is rated about 8.8, 8.6. And that's how we know that at least all of the, the components are actually working. And so um, that's at least confirmation that you know that your electronics work before you actually put it back in the guitar. And then you can turn the volume down all the way, and then you should get nothing or So each one of these components are registering at zero. Anyways, at least we know all the electronics are working and stuff like that. Um, simplest way, even without this, obviously you don't want to put this stuff back into, especially a pick guard configuration, because once you mount everything and put it to the body, you have to take the whole strings off and then maybe disassemble a lot of parts and stuff and then pull all this stuff up just to actually see if your wires are correct. So make sure you do this before uh, you go through that. But uh, in any event, um, just to give you a kind of a very simple layout when you pull this stuff out, this, these wires are pretty much tied in a sequence to where this is the longer of the cable, this is the shorter of the cable, and then this would obviously be the middle. So this needs to reach farther than the other ones, and they are usually laid out in this configuration where the pole pieces, uh, the slugs, are facing each other, so that's the way that they would go in. And as long as you don't change the wiring, it's pretty much the way you need it. Um, they are, you know, dual sound, so they do split the, the coils depending on the, the event. Um, but this switch, when it's mounted, uh, can be a little bit uh, troublesome because you don't know if it goes this way or it goes this way, but, you know, typically uh, the easiest way to do that is just plug it all in, uh, tap on the pickups, and you can actually see uh, which one is going to be the one that is going to be the orientation for the bridge. Now, when they when I bought this guitar, this was actually was what you would think would be the neck pickup uh, was actually the bridge. It was it was spun. So the only thing you have to do is take the pick guard off, spin this around, and then you would have your your solve. But um, there's an easier way to do it. It's just put it all together, you know, uh, connect it to an amp, and then just tap on the pickup and the figure it, you know, whatever, and test everything like that. That way you can know which one is, uh, which is the direction this thing is supposed to be in. Uh, it's pretty typical if you take a picture uh, before, um, you know, take it all apart and just keep a reference for it to start off with some pictures so you have reference for which is the orientation of this. But if this was wired wrong, it wouldn't matter if you took a picture. Uh, you would just have to swap it anyway. So hope that helps.